What's up everyone, Cade here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Another racket for you guys, the Technifiber TF4315 has made it to my residence and my studio and I'm excited to tell you guys about it. This racket has been highly requested uh, in the past you know, months. Uh, people wanted me to like switch to this racket. They were wondering why it wasn't in the racket bracket and well you know what here it is so i will say that i was nervous to try this racket because so many people thought it would be so amazing and it is a great playing frame luckily it didn't blow my socks off that i thought i would need to change for my radicals to this but it's still definitely a great frame and will work for many many players so excited to get into this first of all though do not forget to like and subscribe on our way to 10,000 subs, quickly approaching 5,000, so please like and subscribe, it really helps us. Second of all, thank you so much to Tennison. They sent me this racket for review for you guys, so big thanks to them. They're a retailer located in Montreal, and they have been um, doing a great job over the last couple of years, and I've bought stuff from them ever since I was a young junior, so definitely check them out. If you're interested in buying this racket or any other products, you can use our code MPTENNIS10 and get 10% off there. So thank you, Tennison. So now to the racket. Like I said, a lot of people wanted me to try this racket, guys, and here it is, the TF40315. First of all, um, I'm not super sold on the grip shape. However, other than the grip shape, I love the feel of this racket actually. It feels very nice in the hands. It has this box beam here, which is really nice. I tend to gravitate towards rackets that have that feeling. It just feels like a classic feel. Um, not to say that rackets like E-Zones or Pure Arrows or V-Cores feel bad. I actually like to play with those rackets too, but there's something about this feeling right here around the throat of the racket that feels really nice. Um, so yeah, first impressions, great cosmetic, looks, feels great. Just that the grip, Technifiber has very unique grip shapes. The length is definitely long enough, but the grip shape uh, takes a little bit to get used to. I personally think the grip shapes for their rackets favor people that have Eastern forehand grips because the bevel down the middle is very pronounced and longer this way. Um, so if you have a semi-Western or Western grip, um, maybe this will feel a little bit awkward to you. I don't know, maybe some people in the comments can help me out with that. I kind of felt like that in the beginning, but I started to get used to it after. But on two-handed back end, there's no issue at all. Like I, the grip felt fine. But anyway, to jump into it, four hands, the story of this racket is it, it's just solid overall. Um, so it's going to be really hard for me to you know pick away at it of things I didn't like. It just the thing that it didn't do well is it didn't do anything amazing. So that's probably why it didn't make me like want to switch to it or make me even question my recent racket choice, which is the Radical. But everything's just really, really solid. I think I'm kind of going back and forth here. I said I was going to talk about the forehand. I will get to that. But I think this racket is for somebody that uh, is wants control. This is not a, a racket, you know, if you're currently playing with Pure Arrow and you love your Pure Arrow, I wouldn't even look at something like this. I think this would be a terrible choice for somebody like that. This racket it would, is totally in a different realm. So if you're in the Radical, maybe Speed, Gravity, Prestige, Blade, uh, Vcore 95, um, mostly control oriented rackets. I think this one is actually going to be a good test for you. If you're somebody that, you know, is currently using those rackets or is using more of a power racket and wants to try more of a control racket, this is going to be a great, a great choice, a great try, a great demo. Uh, so definitely keep this uh, one on your list. But yeah, four hands, Feels good, solid, like can't really dock it. Was able to hit good topspin, uh, able to hit through the court. Like I said, Eastern forehand players, I think are gonna like this because of the grip shape. I thought hitting flat balls was easier than hitting topspin, uh, just my opinion. Backhand, uh, I hit a flat backhand anyway, so it felt really nice, but I also could hit some good topspin on it as well. Slice backhand felt really nice as well, knifing that uh, slice through the air. Uh, 
can't really dock anything there, guys. Like the weight on it is higher, so it feels pretty good. Um, you could easily customize this one too, I think, um, if you want to. Volley's super stable. Um, if you feel like the racket might be unstable to net, lead can fix that. Uh, however, this racket's foam filled, so I don't really feel like I needed to fix that. I feel like I, I'm liking foam filled rackets now. I don't know what the carbon setup is on this racket. I know, I don't know if that TF40 means something, but maybe it does. Let me know in the comments. I don't know, <laughs> maybe you know. Um, but yeah, feels really nice uh, on volleys. Like I can't dock it. Like it's just overall very good. Um, what else, what else? I did string this up with head hawk power at my tension, which I'll talk to you guys in another video as well. On serves, it reminds me of kind of like a pro staff or my radical. It's not gonna blow your opponent off the court with big bombs, but you're gonna be able to hit your spots. And if you have good technique, you are gonna be able to get some good power with this and be able to create some good spins with this. So overall, guys, I mean, this is just really solid, like, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. Also on returns, like block returns was really nice. If you're somebody that loves the Technifiber grip shape, this racket is like a home run. Like it's very, very good. I don't like the grip shape, so that's why I don't necessarily love this racket 100%, but I'm not surprised you guys really wanted me to try this racket because I it's just very, very solid and there's not really much to, to pick apart about it. So yeah, guys, great racket. Please try this one out if you're interested. I think it would be a great demo. You can put whatever string you want it. I got Headhawk Power in here. Works very, very good. So let me know what you guys think about this racket. This is the TF40315. Great frame by Technifiber. Thanks again to Tennyson for sending it to me. That is gonna be it for today, guys, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.